tell me again, you walked in my office and you said you wanted to interview some older adults about... Um, I wanted to interview older adults about what their experience was like in, um, in a society that tends to discard um, elderly, as opposed to the elderly people being respected in a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, tr traditional communities or traditional like indigenous communities. We tend to put, want to put them on shelves. Yes. And what we do to our elderly people is what we do to ourselves. Yes. I know that elsewhere in the country, elders are not revered and elders are put on a shelf and forgotten, but that's not been my experience here in Iowa City, Iowa. Again, we're in a, we're in a mecca here. Our folks who come here demand respect. They demand to be taken seriously because they're serious about what they do. They also have a lot of fun. <laughs> started senior center television, we started with analog technology. And I just put a blurb in our newspaper asking if there was anyone interested in learning. We had 18 people volunteer immediately. As well as mental health care. The idea of separating out So this is shot by a senior, is just not and Claire's there, no, I'm not there, there are no students at this point involved in their project. Sometimes there are students involved, but this is completely their own project. Basically Claire and Bob they're going out and they're doing these news reports and they're right next to M you know NBC and CNN oh, wow. and basically sick in there and being like we're seniors and you know and it seems a little crazy at first because you're like the idea is a stare it is fighting the stereotype <laughs> I, I, I can't answer you, I'm sorry. Someone's conducting a poll. <laughs> I took a walk and went back to the house and I said, well, it's almost over. When you were how old? About 15. High school student, yeah. You thought it was over when you were 15? Yeah, I thought, it was, uh, yeah. It was, but anyway, we never know, do we? No, you had 70 more years coming. <laughs> God. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, yeah, it is. I'm wondering, do you see, or do you see any advantages of being older? If being older and you have some kind of health, I think that's wonderful. I, I, because I, I like it here. Uh, I like being alive, and even though my memory isn't what it was, uh, and the body is not what it was, but still, I'm, I think I'm very blessed. I'm one of those persons who you could say an almost was. What are the advantages of being old? I think just seeing what happens in the world, so even though you might not, you may be very disturbed by it, you know, it's, it's still, it's a, it's a scene being played out. Are there, is there like wisdom and information that you wish you could pass along? I don't, I don't think I would, uh, I would tell them something, they'll find it on their own. No. You could help us if you talk to us. Help you? Help you? Oh, don't make me laugh. I'll split one of my stitches. Which one of us is kicking the bucket, me or you? Ellen, Ellen loves the bright lights. Bring on the spotlights, darling. And I can't act at all, so she does the acting, and I don't want to. That's a good thing. No. I don't want any competition, so. No, you don't get it from me, but you do get admiration. I first ask this, what is old? Oh boy, I think old is how you feel. If, uh, you know, if you're... Uh, That's a good question, isn't it? If you're in your 50s and you really don't feel well, and you, you just don't seem to enjoy things or whatever, then I think you're old. We're in a musical comedy troupe that goes around, Evelyn's part of it, and plays at nursing homes and uh, retirement homes. Some of those people- yeah, Are younger than we are. Yeah, there was, we sang happy birthday to one lady, she was in a wheelchair, and after we were packing up, 
I went over to her, she was close to me, and she was very nice. And I said to her, how old were you today? And she said, 72. And here I'm 80, you know. And I thought, wow. You know, she looked old. <laughs> now, well, maybe I, I do, yeah. too, but I don't think I do. Yeah, but a lot not of that old. I think a lot of people, well, look at the thick picture of me hanging up there. Well, you were supposed to look old. Right. Well, there's no makeup on that. <laughs> there is in my box on the set. Everything in your box on the set. Yeah. Condoms. And no. these kids are so nice. And no. like 16, the youngest. Mm -hmm. I'm the oldest. He's 72. I'm the oldest of 72. And what, the director's maybe in his 50s? And the I would say. interviewers in his and 60s? It, yeah. yeah, he's in his 60s. Jerry's in his 60s. You have all age group. Yeah, 20s and it's just and beautiful. 30s and, and 40s. They, they could be your kids, they could be your grandkids. Mm -hmm. And they're just, you know, and the girls there, they, they could be my daughter. Uh -huh. it's, it's just, it's, an, it's a very healthy, I think it's very healthy to be involved with different ages, not just your own age. Yeah, I do too. Research is finally proving that the people who remain engaged in activities that exercise their brain have less incidences of Alzheimer's and dementia. So if you, if you remain physically active, keep your body strong, you eat well, um, exercise your brain, um, take classes, constantly learn new things, and then also have a very strong social support network, your chances of uh, staying out of an intermediate care facility are just better than those who sit at home in front of the television all day long. One of my projects, when I get enough finances around to do it, I want to have a small uh, album of s s some of my best songs. I have uh, quite a few. I just I don't even know what I want to be when I grow up. That's you know I I feel kind of like a Peter Pan. Just like when I retire, I'm still saying when I retire, I'm going to do some painting. <laughs> She's a good painter, too. And you didn't even know about the Senior Center before you walked in, did you? This is why I'm doing these things, this, these types of projects, to get past my, my own misconceptions and my yeah. own just ignorance. All we can do is change ourselves before we can change the world, and each one of us has to respect ourselves and respect our elders and respect everybody else in a way that maybe others will see and, and duplicate that kind of behavior. So beautiful. Thank you for, for letting me record that. <laughs>